Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about the recorded inputs. Now you're going to notice three separate pieces of the recorded inputs. The first you'll notice on the left hand side is your camera and there is a drop down arrow here. If you click that arrow, you're going to notice that you've got all of the webcam options that you can use on your particular PC. You are also going to notice that there is an option section. Now when you click this options button or link, it's going to take you back to the option screen. And we actually do need to do this for the camera. So let's do that right now. So if there's anything in particular that you'll want to change about your device properties, and this is going to be specific to your device or your formatting. And again, this will be specific to your particular device. If you change that device, each one of these are going to be different. And you can actually change the settings for each individual device when you're going to use it with Camtasia for a particular recording. Now, when you leave this setting and you actually click OK, this is the setting that's going to be there for, for the next recording. And so this will effectively be your default setting. If you ever want to go back to the default setting, you'll come back to this page for inputs and click Restore Defaults. You'll also notice that there is an audio button. You click the down arrow and you'll see all of your microphone input options. If you have an internal microphone, if you have an external microphone, everything that you have plugged into your personal computer, you will see that option here. Now the other thing that you're going to see is that you can choose to record the system audio. So for example, if you have audio playing in the background on your PC, you can actually record it. If you have something that is going to make some kind of audio sound, you can actually record that into your video. This is going to be especially helpful if you are recording a webinar of some kind and you want to make sure that you're getting it, you will want to record your system audio. And just as you did with the camera, you have options here. It's going to take you back to the options menu. And again, what we can do is we can adjust the level of the microphone. We could have more audio going into the recording or less. We can actually change the audio. And every audio setting we're going to be able to change through this audio button. If you ever want to go back to the default setting, you can click Restore Defaults. The one other thing you're going to notice is that your capture frame rate is 30 frames per second as the default setting. We can actually change that and make it less if for some reason you cannot process a video at 30 frames per second. You can go down to 15, 10, or 1. But it's advisable to leave this at the default setting. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now we can also control the audio input from the front of the recording toolbar. We can adjust that audio. And that is all that you'll need to know to get started with your recorded input session. Now you'll notice here that this, if we hover over this area, that we have our webcam or what is the default for our webcam. And we can actually see what our webcam is actually going to show people by hovering over this button and depending on which webcam we have selected. So if we want to know what our webcam is going to look like wherever we have that webcam, we can hover over this button and this will give us a preview in real time. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.